Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Why don't you tell everybody your name and where you're from? Hi, y'all. I'm Melissa Stancil, and I'm from Lubbock, Texas. What? 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 Hello? Woo! Yes. So did y'all catch that? She's from, see, look, they put up your cute little headshot and then they just throw up my belly. It's not fair. Come on. I'm gonna talk to somebody about that. Okay, so here's the cool thing, you guys. Melissa is actually my personal trainer. So that's pretty cool, huh? So are y'all excited to hear from a personal trainer on the panel? I told you, they'll love you. Okay, so why don't you tell everybody your first experience with the rap, because it's an awesome story. Okay, um, I met Ashley and Daniel in January. They came to me to start training, and I never had to ask them what they did for a living. They had hashtags and booms and green and stuff everywhere, and so um, I never had to ask that question, so I knew what they did. Um, the first time I saw Skinny Wrap, I just had the feeling that it was like an excuse for a workout, and so it sounded very undisciplined to me, so I just kind of ignored it. It was one of those things like, if you ignore it, it'll go away. Um, not them physically, but the business part of it. And so um, anyways, it didn't go away and Ashley and I started to be closer friends and um, I kind of got to that friend point where I was like, okay, I'll try your product, it's fun. So I went to her and I said just that and she goes, okay, it's $59 as a loyal customer and $99 as a retail customer. <laughs> and so I, um, I bought my first box of wraps for retail price and I remember calling my sister on the way home and my sister's a nurse and just saying, I'm gonna need you to look in these ingredients and just make sure there's nothing potentially hazardous in this wrap <laughs> that I'm doing. And so she called me back about 30 minutes later and was like, sis, I can't find anything. It looks botanical, it looks natural, and let me know how that goes. So um, I cut it in half and I put it on the back of my legs. And I remember calling my mom and going, okay, if you don't hear from me in 45 minutes, it's this rap thing that I'm doing. So if you could go ahead and send somebody, that would be great. Um, but I took my nap and y'all, I woke up and I took those wraps off my legs and they were so smooth. They looked incredible. And so I called my mom and she was like already on her computer. She's like, what was that website you said again? And so she signed up as a retail customer that day too. So I remember exactly where I was. She calls me and she, and I was like, oh my gosh, did you try it? How did it go? And she goes, oh, it was awesome. And my mom wants some, and this is great. And I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. You know how you do that very first time you give somebody a sample wrap and you're like, God, if this wrap was ever gonna work on anybody, I swear I will be so good. I'll never ask for anything if you just let it work on my personal trainer. Has anybody else prayed that? Just me? Okay. <laughs> Like, you can give me any duds that are ever out there. Just don't give them to her. Just please let them be good. And so, um, anyways, I remember exactly where I was sitting. And so, of course, I asked the question that all of you should ask. Well, if you loved your results, and if your mom already wants to order some, maybe you should be a... Yes, y'all are learning quickly, young grasshoppers. Yes. So, I said that to her, and she goes... Um, yeah, no, I don't have any time. There's just no way. And I was like, well, that's okay. I would love to take care of you as a loyal customer. Maybe you could start getting them for $59 instead of $99. Yeah, okay, I'll think about that. So that was fun and an awkward experience for me. But so, Melissa, why don't you fast forward a couple of days and tell everybody what made you decide to actually take a second look at this business? She's right, I did not want anything to do with it at first. I was really busy, I was working at full-time personal training and waking up super early and going to bed super late. So I was a little bit sleep deprived and I thought, there's just no way that I have time for this and I haven't done my research and I'm not even sure about this stuff. And so I originally said no, but um, just like with you know trying to wrap, the longer I knew Ashley and Daniel, I could see that their lives like literally revolved around this and they were wonderful people. And so I kept thinking, this is not matching up sort of deal. And so I did something terribly evil, y'all. And I waited until Ashley couldn't make it to one of her workouts and it was just Danny. And if you guys know Danny, that man does not lie. I mean, he is the most genuine person in the world. And so he walked in the doors and I put him on that Stairmaster where I knew he'd be vulnerable. And I was like, y'all, I did, it was so mean. And I looked at him and I said, Danny, do you really like your life? And I did that face, that stink face. And he was like, I love my life. And he goes, I wouldn't change it for the world. And so he talked to me a little bit about how he didn't give, he didn't take on his family business so that he could do this with Ashley. 
And one of the most powerful things that he said to me was, I wasn't there for Ashley when she first started. I mean, I was, she had the support of her husband, but I wasn't there fully. And I see what she did with this business. And if I could have those months back, I would do that in a heartbeat. And so that's when that, everybody goes, oh. <laughs> that's when that, uh, that first emotional chord was struck for me. And so my husband and I were at a point in our lives where probably a lot of you have been there before where you're living paycheck to paycheck and um, just kind of barely scraping by each month. So I was interested. Um, and I remember calling Ashley that next day and going, we need to go to lunch. And I interrogated this girl at lunch. I mean, I asked her the hardest questions, y'all. Do y'all know what a BCAA is? I haven't figured that out. It's a branch chain amino acid. I didn't know that before I met her. Just so you know. Please. I mean, go I, ahead, please yeah. continue. Yes. I really grilled her. And this girl, she was so authentic and so transparent. And she didn't have a textbook answer for everything I said. I mean, she just was genuine with me. And what I took away from that lunch and what is my, one of my favorite things about our friendship and just how we work together now is she goes, look, I really think that I could change your life with this business and I can show you how to make a bunch of money if it's for you. But let me make this clear. Like, I don't need you. <laughs> and she doesn't need me. She's right. But it's like my favorite joke to tell. <laughs> I'm gonna let her explain that. Stuff got real, didn't it? My goodness. <laughs> I don't suggest saying that to me. It's my favorite thing though, but she was so real with me and it kind of yeah, made me go, okay. you but don't so, need me? There's this other question I have for you there. I have, a, I, have another, I have another question for you now. I'm sweating. Um, okay, but here's the thing. No, no, okay. Seriously, but what I was gonna say is she had good reason to say that. And what she meant is like, whether you come into this business or not, it's not gonna change my life. I mean, like I would love to work with you, but I am gonna live this life regardless. Yes, okay, And there so is. her transparency <laughs> is what made me so attracted to the business. It really was. Um, so after that lunch, I started sampling products and I started diving into my research and she sent me every Dr. Dawn everything and I just love listening to him. And so um, I was feeling amazing on all my samples. And I just was like, I feel selfish. Like I'm, I've got to start sharing this with everybody I know. So, okay. So I, that's good. Oh, look, I told you they would love you. So why don't you tell everybody, because I remember you at that lunch asking, do you love the products or the business more? I said, well, I love the business the most. I make money. That's, I'm an entrepreneur. That's what I love. And she goes, well, I have to be behind these products. So why don't you tell everybody why you are so passionate? You've helped me become more passionate about the products, learning more about them. So tell everybody why you're so passionate about the products and really why you recommend these to your clients. Okay. Um, I feel like if I'm going to ask my clients to be the healthiest version of themselves, if I'm going to encourage them to do that, then dang it, I better do that too, right? And so these products help me do that. And I live by this rule, it's, it's the 70-30 rule, and I learned it a long time ago. But when you're pursuing your health and your fitness, 70% of your success is what you put in your mouth. And 30% of that is what you do in the gym. And if I could flip those numbers, I would do that in a heartbeat, because I'd be pretty good at that 70% if we could flip them. But right now, that nutrition and having that healthy, you know, eating and those, that lifestyle, that's hard, isn't it? I mean, that 70% is tough. And so um, this is how I look at it. And I encourage you guys to, to ask yourself this question. If you were going on a trip and you were packing up your bags and you were loading up your car and you were about to leave town, would you drive out of your driveway with an empty tank of gas? Y'all can answer that. No. You wouldn't. So when I wake up each day, I see my body as a vehicle and I see my day as my journey or my trip. And so I've got to put fuel in my tank to get through my day, right? But it works to me is that premium fuel that we run through our tank to keep our body working clean and efficient and helping us prepare for our future. I love it. That's good, huh? Okay, so I have a feeling you all want to know this. So I told Melissa, I said, get your answer ready because I'm gonna ask what everybody's thinking. And that is all of us that are um, normal and don't do 25 burpees just to wake up in the morning. Um, <laughs> for those of us just normal in shape people or not in shape people, how do you recommend 
that we talk to people that are in the gym industry, the fitness industry. You know, when we talked, I was not at my physical peak by any means, still not there. And so what, you know, what advice would you give everybody out in the audience for how we should talk or maybe a certain thing we should say or bring up or what advice would you give? First of all, you guys need to know that their defenses are gonna be up and they're gonna have walls up and that's okay. That's what they do in their profession. That's what exactly what I did to her. Um, it's not your job to throw a bunch of facts at them and try to convince them. That's only gonna push them away. So just like what Ashley did, she presented the, me the information. She was genuine and honest with me, extremely transparent. And I was able to see the vision of the company because she kind of, she let it speak for itself <coughs> without convincing me. So that's the first thing you need to remember is just hand them the ingredient list. Say, I encourage you to look at this. It's worth your time. And then uh, the lap bulb moment for me, you guys, was when I realized that what she was asking me to try or what she was bringing to me was not in replacement to exercise. So here's what you have to say. I'm on your team. I believe in diet and exercise and discipline and you know, moderation, I believe in all those things. But what I'm holding in my hand is not to replace that, it's only to enrich that process. And so you guys need to remember that because that's what they need to hear because their wall is going, I don't need this, it doesn't sound like something I want. So you tell them it's not to replace it, it's to enrich what you're asking your patients to do. That's fantastic, y'all like that? Y'all give her a round of applause.